Now, as Stu said, Owen's family says they're disappointed in the jury's lack of diversity, but they're hopeful. West 2 Summer Knowles it spoke with a local attorney about how it could impact a case like this where there are racial elements, some of which will be allowed in court while others are not. Summer, what did she say? Well, Michelle, I asked if dismissing any and all black potential jurors in a case where there are accusations of racism is sometimes a strategy that attorneys may use. She said it would be both unethical and illegal to do so. She also told me it could just be a result of a not so diverse jury pool. But again, the jury is made up of four white women and two white men, and she says having only one race of jurors can potentially impact the outcome of a case. Sometimes there are situations where you really want um, a juror to, to relate to a situation and, and kind of have a, a moment where they're like, I remember when that happened to me. And so sometimes when you say jury of your peers, you really want a diverse jury. And so when you see that it's just all one race, that can be a little bit scary for attorneys. I don't want to make it sound like an all white jury is incapable of administrating justice because it, it happens every day. And so I don't want to take that away um, from these jurors that have answered the call and they're doing their civic duty and I appreciate them and I thank them. Uh, but I just think it's also important um, to have jury pools reflect um, multiple cultures, multiple races. And so I hope that we get to a place where that is the norm. Now again, if convicted Susan Lorenz could spend the rest of her life in jail. Michelle, back to you. Uh